The evolutionary history of the Earth is littered with various species going extinct, from the dinosaurs to the woolly mammoth. Think about it. How would you react if you discovered that animals you thought were gone forever were still around? That's the same reaction that some people in the scientific community are having lately. Yeah, it may not be as exciting as discovering that dinosaurs were still alive. But then again, if you saw Jurassic Park, you'd know that may not be a good thing. Here are seven recent discoveries, or shall we say, rediscoveries, of animals that still exist. Black Browed Babbler Back in the 1840s, a group of men were on an expedition to the East Indies. This group was led by a man named Charles Lucien Bonaparte. While there, they happened upon a mystery bird that had never been seen before. Bonaparte was able to capture the bird and bring it to scientists. They named it the Black-Browed Babbler. Sadly, this was the only time the species was ever seen in the wild. The only evidence of their existence was a stuffed specimen that had a bright yellow glass eye which sounds kind of creepy. Fast forward to 2021, two local men in Borneo came upon a bird they didn't recognize. They were able to catch it, photograph it, and release it. Afterwards, they took it to an Indonesian scientific group to be studied. To the delight of everyone, it was confirmed by way of the strong bill and chocolate-colored black eye stripe that it was in fact a black-browed babbler. Although the finding is significant, the optimism is only cautious in nature. Deforestation is occurring in the country, taking away habitats left and right. But as we have seen, the black-browed babbler is like a ninja, able to escape undetected, so its chances of survival are high. New Ireland Monitor Lizard Hopefully you aren't creeped out by lizards. But this one is worth talking about. In 1823, on the island of New Ireland near Papua New Guinea, French naturalist René Lesson discovered a new species of monitor lizard and named it Varanus dora, which is fancy pants language for monitor lizard. However, after capturing it and loading it onto a ship bound for France, the ship wrecked and sank just off the Cape of Good Hope, killing the lizard in the process. Many years later in 2012, Walter Wehola, a scientist who was visiting the Bismarck Islands doing field work for the Finnish University of Turka, had been spending several months surveying the monitor lizards. Originally, he thought he was just observing the common mangrove monitor lizard. However, he was dead wrong and realized that he was looking at the monitor lizard with a fancy pants name. The findings were compared to the notes taken from the original French researcher, and it was confirmed that these were in fact Varanus dora. The Australian Bee In terms of rediscovering lost species, our minds probably tend to wander towards larger animals like the ones we have discussed so far. However, insects, although cringe-inducing for many, are just as important to recognize. For almost 100 years, a species of bee known as the Ferrohylius lactiparus, which is another fancy pants term for Australian endemic bee, has not been seen. The last published record of the species was in 1923 in Queensland, Australia. Nothing at that time was known about its biology or habits. However, in 1982, while researchers were sampling bees among 245 various areas, they found the species again. Three separate populations were found along the east coast, which suggested that the populations were largely isolated from each other. After collecting some individuals, it was determined by researchers that these bees were very picky eaters, feed only on the pollen from firewheel trees and Illawarra flame trees. Silver-backed Chevetane We've all seen deer before, but how many of us have seen dwarf deer? Such was the case of the silver-backed Chevetrain, a deer-like creature that is the size of a small cat or a rabbit. Countries like Lao, Indonesia, Vietnam, and the Philippines contain some of the most dense jungles on planet Earth. While these areas are ripe with possibilities for discovering new species of animals, it's also a place where species can get lost. The Chevetane is the first mammal on the Global Wildlife Conservation's list of 25 most wanted lost species. In 2019, a popular scientific journal published evidence that the adorable creature had been found again, 
with video footage taken from a wildlife camp deep in the Vietnam jungle. Before then, there had only been one record of the species since 1907. Field teams are now setting out to get an idea of how large and stable this population of silverbacked Chevetanes is. Volt Cow's Chameleon if you're still creeped out by lizards, we're sorry. But here's another one. Well, sort of. It's a chameleon. The Global Wildlife Conservation has compiled a list of the 25 most wanted lost species in the world. Animals that haven't actually been confirmed to be extinct, but have evaded detection for quite a number of years. It's like the FBI's most wanted list for awesome animals that are great at playing hide and seek. FBI! The Volkow's chameleon was on this list. Being a species native to Madagascar, it was last seen in 1893 by German zoologist Oskar Boetger. He was able to collect an adult male chameleon for study and observation. After that time, the creature disappeared. Then in 2018, its reign of hide-and-seek champion came to an end. An expedition team to a two-week trip to the northeast parts of Madagascar with the sole purpose of finding this elusive species. Not only was it rediscovered, the team was able to find numerous individual chameleons on the first trip, including three males and about 15 females. These females stood out among the rest as they were brilliantly colored with purple, orange, red, green, black, and white, which changed depending on their mood, much like human females. Additionally, the team was blown away with the sheer number that were discovered on a single expedition leading to the hope that these creatures were much more numerous than originally estimated. Fernandina Giant Tortoise You may think Ninja Turtles are just a made-up thing for movies, but you would be mistaken. Fernandina is an island in the Galapagos Islands and is one of the least explored in the island's chain, in part because it is remote and very difficult to get ashore. Once on shore, it looks like wasteland, with lava rocks covering over 80% of the land. That made the rediscovery of the Fernandina giant tortoise so incredible. The last sightings of this species was in 1906 during a scientific expedition. Since then, researchers have been trying to find it again to no avail. An expedition in 1964 discovered tortoise droppings, but no actual animals. Even a flyover in 2009 reported sightings from the air of something that resembled a tortoise, but it couldn't be confirmed. Finally, in February of 2019, it was announced that while filming a show for Animal Planet TV, a giant tortoise had been discovered on the island of Fernandina. This tortoise is finally coming out of her shell. This ninja was found on the flank of the island's volcano, tucked away inside a thick complex of shrubs. Now there are nearly as many questions as there are answers. How do the tortoise get on the island if humans are barely able to get on? How are the tortoises surviving? Are there others? Somali Elephant Shrew Africa is a continent that is home to an amazing array of strange and wondrous creatures, many of which would kill you at the drop of a hat. The most ferocious of all the predators in Africa is the Somali elephant shrew. Okay, we may have exaggerated a bit, or lied completely. In actuality, this small creature, measuring only a couple inches long, is not a shrew nor an elephant. Rather, it is related to aardvarks, elephants, and manatees and wins the award for cutest animal on the continent. The last scientific record of this lost species was in the 1970s, despite local sightings. But in 2019, a research scientist from Duke University was on an expedition to the Horn of Africa. While in the country of Djibouti, the team found the elephant shrew again. This discovery put this little guy back on the radar of scientists all over the world. During its more than 50-year hiatus from public view, the species moved from its original habitat in Somalia and migrated further north. This has sparked a curiosity among researchers. Are there many more of these animals than originally thought? Are there still populations of these shrews alive in Somalia, or have they found a new home? Do they make good house pets? Will they get along with my dog? Come on, science! We need answers! <laughs>